I'll demonstrate to you how okay. it works. This is a couple of uh, standard dousing rods, which uh, you just hold them like that, try not to restrict the movements yeah. at all. And I'll put this as a, just a bottle of mineral water okay. on the sand like that. And you just start to walk towards the water and you'll find they come towards each other and cross. It may take a... Okay. Okay. Have you done this before? It's the first time you've done this it. This is the first time I've done this. Well, if you walk back again, you'll find they come apart again. Correct. And they stay apart as well. Yeah. It's great, isn't That's it? That's pretty it's amazing. Earlier on, I gave you a film canister. Correct, A yes. black film canister. Now, no one's really told you what this is about. You don't know what the no, film canister is for. But we asked you to sign it. There's a reason for that, which will be clear later on. That film canister has been filled with water. Okay. And I've buried it <laughs> somewhere out here in the sand, all right? You're going to find it through dousing. In order for me to speak to you while you're doing it, we're going to rig you up with a, a little um, microphone and earpiece, all right? So I'll be able to talk to you and you'll be able to talk to me. Uh, also, I'll give you a spade and a backpack for a small body camera we're going to put on you. Okay. All right? We've covered any tracks, so there won't be any physical clues. Take your time, cover as much here as you like, and I'm going to sit here and uh, we'll watch you from back here. Okay. The idea, I think, is to feel the direction from the rods themselves and let them take you anywhere you like. You know, this might be right over in the dunes, it might be anywhere. I'm going to ask you a few odd questions. If you were to imagine that some sort of entity was guiding you, what image would you give that entity? How would you describe it? The first thing I would think it would be uh... Jesus, even something as newly deceased as my grandfather about uh, 20 years ago. So your grandfather comes to mind. This is great. I want you to, just to give me these sort of honest answers to odd questions. Let me ask you this. If you could take the experience of doing this and you could give it a uh, color, what color would you give it? What color would feel right? It, blue. Are you imagining the film canister as you do this? Yes. Okay, well imagine for me that that canister was making a sound and that Somewhere in your mind you could hear that sound and the sound would get louder as you drew closer to it. And then I want you to tell me what the sound is. How do you hear it? It'd be the sound of water, you know, just uh, almost like the wind, you know, rushing kind of way. So the sounds that comes to mind are the sounds of wind and the sound of water, yeah? Yes. Great. Right here. You think you've got the spot? What reaction are you getting from the rods? The crossing and uncrossing as I move directly over this one spot right here. And I, I can, you know, physically I can feel it as if I'm moving out of a channel. We're just going to send some cameras in just a little bit nearer you so we can see okay. you. Okay. Feel free to start digging. There it is. You got it? <laughs> That's amazing. No doubt who that is. It's got your signature on it and everything? Yes. That's me, Ralph D. John.